In this video, we will be taking a look at a proof involving subset containment. Suppose that C is a subset of A and D is a subset of B. Prove that C union D is a subset of A union B. Before we begin our proof, let's make a few observations. The first observation is that there is a an assumption that we'll need to assume within our proof. So let's take a look at that. This piece of information here is something that we're going to need to assume when we get started with our proof. Over here, this is the actual claim that we wish to prove, and it involves showing that one set is a subset of another. The general strategy for showing subset containment is to pick an element, let's call it X, that lives in this set. So we'll pick an X from here, and our goal will be to show that X is in here. And we'll do that using various theorems and properties of unions and subsets. Okay, so let's begin our proof. We'll start off saying assume C is a subset of A and D is a subset of B. Now, our general strategy, as I said, will be to pick an element from our smaller set. So we'll pick an X that's an element of C union D. Well, if X is an element of C union D, this means that X is an element of C or X is an element of D. This is great news, because if X is an element of C, we know something about set C. Similarly, if X is in D, we have some information about that set as well. So let's proceed. If X is an element of C, then X is an element of A. And the reason for this is that uh, C is a subset of A by our assumption. Similarly, if X is an element of D, then X is an element of B because we assumed that D is a subset of B. Okay, so uh, this is looking very good because either way we have X living in A or X living in B. So this shows that X is an element of A or X is an element of B. In other words, X is an element of A union B and that's by properties of uh, unions of set. To be in the union you just have to live in one of the sets, possibly both, but uh, it suffices to just live in one or the other. And that's certainly what we've shown. So our conclusion, therefore, is that since X was an arbitrary element, this holds for any X that we could possibly have uh, chosen, and so therefore by the definition of subset containment, we have shown that C union D is a subset of A union B.